the creation of Adam and the Egyptian hieroglyphics and Khoisan paintings, what do they all have in common? Let's find out in the next episode. The fresco technique has produced multiple art pieces such as the School of Atheists by Raphael, the Torah fresco before the 13th centuries and the painted Egyptian hieroglyphics. The fresco technique is a method of applying wet based pigments onto semi-solid plaster into a painting. Preparing the color plaster, I mixed in the color pistols as pigmentation into the uh, Paris of plaster into water into a mixture, put it in a full container and letting it dry for 25 minutes. The products you will need for this task will be a light plaster, mixing bowl, a jar of water, a full container, colour pistols, paint brushes, old fire pockets and a wooden spoon to work with. To start off with the project, I took um, the colour pistols, a piece of it, into the fire pockets so that I could use the wooden spoon to crush it. Once I got that crushed and ready mix, I, as you've seen earlier, I took the jar of water into a mixing bowl and a cup of um, light plaster aside. Once I'm done with um, um, mixing that, crushing the pistols, I mix the um, I mix the water along with the pistols to make a really light paste of the plaster and water. Not not ever reaching a consistency of thick, but uh, but not too liquidy as also well. just having a a bit of a paste of it. And this was a bit too light, so I ended up almost mixing uh, the whole cup actually because it was way too watery, as you can see with the whole um, paste. The whole point of us ma making a paste is that we can have a paste aside, and then on the second cup, we'll take um, the pigments, the color pistols. And mix it with water. As you can see, I'm taking another cup, a clean cup, and um, taking the the crush uh, color pistols as um, our pigments, color pigments. For me, I preferred two color pigments. Um, as you can see, I started off with checking how it would look on the pastels, just the light check. Um, be careful to um, be um, a bit cautious when you break the the the, the, the color pastels. Never harm yourself. Safety first is as usual. Um, once I got that color crush, the reason I used two is because I wanted my background to be a bit stronger than the first uh, color pistols that I picked.
This is the color pigments with water alone before we mix it with uh, the plaster make sure isn't it gorgeous just a really great color and so I wanted to mix this color along with the second one the brown so uh, make sure it's just the color of your liking You will notice that the, um, the moment you color the plaster, it will soak in all the liquid, like all the moisture. So you have to reapply a lot. If um, this is when it's not completely dry, so it's, you, it's, it's tough as, um, as a stone, but the moisture is still available within the plaster that's when you know it's it's semi it's semi dry so that's the best time to start applying your um, paint onto the plaster
do not limit yourself to thinking that you only can use the mixture of uh, color pigments and plaster you can also use um, a color metal paste on the on your picture on your um, painting and uh, plaster is very flexible as long as you work within the time limits of it drying up so know that look at that gorgeous color right there so beautiful gorgeous feel free to play with um your paints it just works really well with your painting <laughs> 